Hey, and welcome back to my series on personal finance. Today, in this episode, we're going to talk about the difference between a debit card and a credit card and why that difference is important. First, a debit card is a card that is tied to a specific checking account. So, for instance, if I had a checking account at a bank, um, and I wanted to be able to spend the money in that checking account without having to write a check, I would ask the bank to give me a debit card. And what that card basically is, is like a wallet full of the cash in my checking account. And whenever I go to a store and I wanna make a purchase, if I swipe that card, that card is taking money out of that virtual wallet from my bank and is giving it to the company I'm spending money at. Right? So if I went to Target and I spent $50 and I swipe my card, that debit card is giving the bank or giving the bank the authorization to give that $50 to Target. On the other hand, a credit card is, is a whole different thing. So a credit card is given to you by a, a credit institution like Visa or MasterCard, or there are lots of banks that give or credit unions that give out Visa cards. Uh, or not Visa cards, credit cards. And what a credit card is, is it's giving you a line of credit that you can use at a store or wherever it is you're going. So for instance, um, let's say we go to Target again. Now, if I go to Target and I spend $50 and I swipe my credit card, not my debit card, I'm not paying that, that purchase with money from a bank account. I'm paying that on credit. So I am taking money from a credit institution and I'm using it to spend on my target purchase. So I haven't paid anybody anything. This credit institution, a bank or whatever, is paying that for me. So in this case, that, that thing is paying my $50 worth of target purchases. Now, since I haven't paid anybody anything, now I owe this credit institution money instead of target. So before, when I was swiping my debit card, I was paying my own money from my account to Target and they were getting my $50. But because I used my credit card, this credit institution paid it for me, so now I owe the credit institution. Here's the issue. Okay? If I'm owing a credit institution, they're going to be charging me interest on my purchase. So instead of paying it right away, they're going to send me a bill at the end of the month or whenever it is they're billing you. And they're going to say, hey, you spent 50 of our dollars. We want that $50 back. Now, with cre most credit cards, if you pay it off right away, you end up not owing any interest. But let's say you use that credit card and you couldn't pay the $50 back right away. So you say, well, okay, credit institution, I know I owe you $50, but I only have 30 So here's $30. Well, that $20 you still owe them, you now have to pay interest on because you still owe them that money over the next month. So over that next month, you still owe them $20 and they're going to charge you interest. And a lot of credit cards, their interest rates are like 20%. So that means 20% of $20, that's $4. So now instead of owing just $20, you now owe $24. Okay. That's where a lot of young people get into problems with credit cards. They spend a lot of money on their credit card and then they can't pay pay it off in full over that first month and so then they have to make the minimum payment right the the smallest amount that that company is willing to let you pay and so they pay that and then the rest of it is to getting interest and if the interest rate is high like 20 percent or higher than that right that money that they owe is compounding at a quick rate and they don't have the means to pay that off which is where people get into credit card debt so that's really the difference between a debit card and a credit card. A debit card, you're spending your own money and you don't owe anyone else anything because you've spent your money on something. Whereas if you use a credit card, right, you're you're spending someone else's money and now you owe that person that money back. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you're enjoying this series and you have any suggestions of things I should cover, please let me know in the comments below. And if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. That makes it easier for me to make more videos helping you guys out. Have a great day.